Hi, it's lovely to see you again everyone. Welcome to your Yoga Beams adventure. I'm so excited to be going on this adventure today. I've brought Chunky Monkey with me. Chunky Monkey's going to be watching us whilst we're doing our yoga. And at the end of our class when we're doing our relaxing, he is going to tickle, tickle, tickle us on our cheek. Oh my goodness, I can't wait. Right, Chunky, you sit just there. You can watch everyone doing their yoga. Now, can you cross your legs like mine? And see if you can have a happy back. Now, don't worry if you can't copy me in exactly the same. You're just going to try. Now, let's see if we can get our listening ears ready. That's it. Our listening ears are ready. We're going to say our special words. So if I say them first, and then you can say them after me. Let's get ready. I am happy. I am happy. I am clever. I am clever. I am confident. I am confident. I am kind. I am kind. I am awesome. Wow, you're amazing. Come on, toddlers, let's listen to the singing bowl. Get ready. Oh my goodness, it's singing already. I'm going to have a busy nose. Oh, it's really going to tickle my nose. Oh my goodness, that tickle, tickle, tickle my nose. It made it go really busy. I think we better sit Chunky Monkey in the singing bowl. Oh, my nose is still busy. Okay, Chunky, you sit there. Now, I'm so excited about our adventure. You'll never guess what has happened. One of your friends, a very special little boy who's really, really kind to everyone and really happy. He's really sad today. Someone or something has taken his belly button. Oh no, his belly button's gone. We're going to help him find it. Come on, everyone. Let's get in our boat. We're going to help find the belly button. We better look in the jungle. Can you sit on your bottom and put your hands behind you like mine? See if you can lift one leg up. Two legs up. Oh, wow. Your boats are amazing. You're trying to copy what I do. But don't worry if it's not exactly the same. That doesn't matter. Now let me tell you something. We're going to row our boats across the river. You might see a crocodile. <gasps> if you see a crocodile, don't make a sound because he's going to want to eat your toes. <laughs> he is not eating our toes. Can you copy what I'm doing? One leg straight, one leg bent and one hand on the floor. Don't worry if it's not exactly the same. Let's get going. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to. See if you can put your legs straight, your fingers over your lips. Shh. See if your nose can get near your legs. Shh. Oh no, there's a crocodile on the other side of the river. I don't think he's seen us. Come on, let's get out of here. Can you hold on to your other foot now? One leg straight, one leg bent and one hand on the floor. Let's get rowing. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to our toes. Come on everyone, we've got to get out of the boat with a great big jump. So can you bend your knees like mine, put your hands behind you, we're going to jump really really high. One, two, three, jump! Wow, you did it! You're amazing! Oh no, oh no, the crocodile, ah, he's getting out of the water! 
He's going to try and eat our tippy toes. No, 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 Mr. Crocodile. You're not going to eat our tippy toes. Oh, phew. Phew, he's gone. Look, there's George the giraffe. Let's ask him if he's got our belly button. George the giraffe has really long, straight legs. Can you copy what I'm doing? Hey, George the giraffe, have you got a belly button? George the giraffe stands like this, munching on the leaves. Um, search me. What? We've got to search you. Oh dear, you know what that means. We've got to climb a ladder. There's a great big ladder, because he's got a great, great, big, big body with huge long legs and a long neck and... Hold on! Okay, okay, we're at the top of the ladder. We're just right near George the giraffe's tummy. Lean over one side. I can't see a belly button there, George. Let's have a look the other side. Lean over. Oh my goodness! George, you've got an enormous belly button. But that's not our belly button. Oh dear, come on. We can't run out of time. We've got to find our friend's belly button. We climb back down the ladder. When we get down the bottom of the ladder, there's a great big silver black gorilla. <laughs> Can you swing your arms like a gorilla? <laughs> hey, Mr. Gorilla, have you got our belly button? The gorilla leans back like this. He pats his chest. Search me. What? We've got to look at your tummy as well. Oh no, I hope he's friendly. He's very, very hairy. Now we've got to have a look at his tummy. Can you try and keep your legs straight when you bend down? Don't worry if you can't. See if your bottom can stick up in the air. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, you're very, very hairy, Mr. Gorilla. Oh, we're trying to find... Oh, my goodness! Mr. Gorilla, you've got a big, black, hairy belly button. The gorilla leans back. I know, that's my belly button. I've had it since the day I was born. Oh, okay. We've got to find this belly button. As we look closer, we see that there's a great big forest with trees that have huge branches. Some of the trees have smaller branches and some of them have tiny branches. Now, if you're wobbly, don't worry. Just put your foot down and pick up the other one. Wow, I love your trees. Wait, there's a lion. Let's tiptoe up to the lion, see if he's got our belly button. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. The lion is asleep. <gasps> Can you sit down like this on your heels? Wow. All of a sudden, the lion opens one of his eyes. What do you think you're doing? Oh my goodness, Mr. Lion, please don't be cross. The lion does a great big roar. Are you ready for this? Can you spread your hands out like that? This is your lion's mane. See if you can breathe in through your nose. Stick your tongue out. He does it again. <sighs> oh, Mr. Lion, that's enough. Why would I want your belly button when I've got a perfectly good one of my own? Oh, oh, okay, okay. Then we notice in the swamp there's a huge crocodile. Can you? Have your legs nice and straight like mine. You can even point your toes towards the ceiling if you want to. And you can have a happy back. Mr Crocodile, have you got a belly button? He shouldn't have a belly button. Mr Crocodile opens his mouth really, really wide. Snaps it shut. I might have. <gasps> oh, can we have a look? The crocodile rolls over and there 
In the middle of his tummy is our belly button. Mr. Crocodile, what are you doing with our belly button? He opens his mouth really, really wide. I borrowed it. I was cleaning the fluff out of it. And he snaps his jaw shut. <gasps> oh, okay. Can we have it back, please? Only if you come and get it. Oh no, the animal said don't, it's a trap, it's a trap, he wants to bite your toes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. We're going to get that belly button for our friend. We wait until the crocodile's not looking. Then we get on our tippy toes and we go to the back of the swamp behind the crocodile. Can you walk on your tippy toes like I am? He hasn't seen us. Come on, let's get the belly button. Bend down if you can with your bottom sticking up in the air. Get ready, get it. <gasps> we got it! Quickly, we get out of the way. Quickly, quickly, get out of the swamp. The little boy sticks his belly button back on. I've got my belly button back. I've got my belly button back. Wow! Everyone gives you a great big hug. You did it, you did it. You saved the day you got your friend's belly button back. Oh. And to this day, the crocodile's never taken anyone's belly button again. I don't know about you, but I'm really tired. Shall we do some relaxing now? Are you ready? Can you lay down on your back? I'm going to get Chunky Monkey because he is going to wake us up in a little while. So let's lie down on our back everyone. Let your feet be floppy out to the side and your arms just resting on the floor. Chunky Monkey is going to be watching us. We're going to do our belly breathing now. So close your eyes. Try not to make any noise. See if you can breathe in through your nose and try to get the air all the way down to your belly button. Then you breathe out through your nose. You're doing your belly breathing. Try to be really still. Try to be really quiet. Pretend you're asleep. Then Chunky Monkey's going to wake you up with a tickle. Listen to the pretty music. Oh wow, it sounds so pretty. Breathe in and out through your nose if you can. Try to be really still and pretend you're asleep. Chunky Monkey's watching. He's going to wake you up with a tickle. He's coming. He's coming. Tickle, 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 tickle. Oh, Chunky! You've woken everyone up. Now it's time to sit up nice and slowly. Chunky Monkey, thank you for waking us up. That's very kind of you. Chunky Monkey is going to sit back in the singing bowl and watch us finishing our class. So can you cross your legs like mine? Don't worry if you can't. We're just learning. Imagine your arms have turned into beautiful wings. Put them on the floor, we're going to do the bird breath. Breathe in through your nose and lift your wings up. Breathe out through your nose and put your wings back on the floor. Breathe in. Can you bring your hands together and put them all the way down in front of your heart? Wow! Well done! You were amazing on your yoga beams adventure. I can't wait to see you again. Bye for now!